November and I'm still on a Greek island. This is the latest in the season that I have ever stayed. Usually I leave at the end of October and then I don't come back until like April or May. Now I have come in February before but that was for carnival and it was sort of a special occasion. This year I've just decided to stay because the weather was supposed to get a little bit nicer this week. So far not happening as you can see from my hair. But I do get a lot of people asking me whether or not, you know, late October or November is a good time to come to a Greek island. So I wanted to make this video to talk a little bit about what you can expect on a Greek island in November. As you can see, it's windy. It's not as windy as it has been, but it's still pretty windy, but it's very sunny. However, that wind is chilly. It's only about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 19 degrees Celsius. So depending on where you're from, that's either really chilly or really warm. The other thing that you might notice is that there are almost no beach Taverna restaurants that are open. This is a very popular one in the summer. They closed, I think, on the 21st of October, maybe the 22nd, but still they've been closed for about two weeks now. There's a couple down at that end that are open that that one is open and I think one or two of those are open and that is it usually there's a lot of beach restaurants and you can rent a sunbed and an umbrella but right now there's only one place that's doing that the renting of the umbrellas so if you come in November be prepared to sort of fend for yourself on the beach now of course what's beautiful is there's hardly anyone here so if you like to be away from people, this is a really great option. This is one of the main squares here in Naxos and some places have closed, some places are still open, some places stay open all the year. Uh, so it just depends on how late you come. But the bakeries are usually open, the sandwich place is open. The Italian restaurant, unfortunately, is not open anymore. November 2nd now. I'm on my lunch break. I'm walking down to the harbor to have a little bit of a break, get a snack, and see what is open this late in the season. As I mentioned before, I've never been here this late before, so I'm super curious to see what it's like. Now, yesterday it was still super windy. Today it's gorgeous. I do have on jeans, but you could probably get away with shorts, especially if you went to the beach today. Still plenty of places seem to be open. A few places have closed. This is a new bar that opened, I guess, this year. I didn't get a chance to try it yet, but several of the restaurants are still open. One of the ice cream places is closed, and it looks like the Waffle House, which is normally closed by now is definitely closed at least during the day like I said sometimes things will close for during the day and then they'll be open at night so I will probably try to come down here tonight to see a friend and I have tentatively arranged to get ice cream so you know we'll check it out because it's warm enough at this point to have ice cream I don't know about this evening but right now I could go for an ice cream another thing that happens in the off season is that construction and like city works will happen so you can see that this road is two directional right now but usually it is only one way usually you can only come from this way but they're doing some work on the road behind the town so it's two-way right now some of you may be wondering about the ferry situation in november so I checked the schedule to return to Athens on Sunday and to Piraeus there were four ferries from Naxos to Piraeus. Now that is not the case every day. Some days are only three going back. I think there's probably at least three in the winter but at least two. I know that the morning ferry and the evening ferry, the slow ferry, runs all year. I'm not sure about the sea jets I will check that when I get back to my room to see. Okay, let's see what the schedule is like for the ferry from Athens to Naxos in November. So let's say we'll leave tomorrow. Okay, 
as I thought, there are three fairies. One is a fast fairy. Two are slow fairies. Two of them leave in the morning and the one leaves in the evening. This is pretty standard, I think, for most of the winter. Um, I'm going to just scroll through and see. Okay, so Friday, there are four fairies, um, but one of them leaves from Lavrio, not from Piraeus. And then on Saturday, there's only two fairies. That evening fairy goes away. And on Sunday, there are three fairies going from Athens to Naxos. Even though a lot of the places have closed down here, it still feels pretty alive. It's not as loud and there's not as many people, but there are still people out and there are still things open. Um, it's always interesting to see what's open at night instead of during the day, but it looks like down here, it's pretty much the same thing. Another thing I want to mention about coming in November or any time in the off season is that not all hotels in the Greek islands stay open year round uh, just because there isn't a need for this many hotels. This hotel is the Galaxy Hotel here in Naxos which is quite popular because they have a pool and they're within walking distance of the beach. Now I've had to move to a hotel this week because my friend's place um, somebody else was coming to stay in it so I needed to move to a hotel so I am going to show you my hotel because I think it's a really nice option. It's sort of mid range. Um, it's basic, but it's comfortable, it's clean, and best of all, the internet is amazing. <laughs> Which, somebody had asked me about that, and I will go into it a little bit more later, but the internet on a Greek island can be a bit spotty. It is Friday, November 4th. It is supposed to be very warm today, so there are probably a few more people on the beach than there has been. Yesterday it was even warmer and there were lots of people on the beach. Lots meaning, you know, for the time. Uh, but as you can see, it's glorious. So if you can come in the off season and you don't mind it being a little bit cooler, but still warm, then it's a good time to come. And there's very little wind today. And sometimes that's you can't control that. Like in October, the wind was horrible and now it's fabulous. And then this weekend, we're supposed to have a storm. So if you come, you just need to be prepared that some days may be really nice and some days you might need to find something else to do. I'm now down in Agios Prokopios and you can see that this hotel is closed. All the windows and doors are boarded up. What I think is interesting though, is their pool, pool is still full of water. I wonder why. Because most of the time when I uh, see a hotel in Greece with a pool in the winter, they have drained the water. There are some people here and that's because it's so nice outside. And I've been walking long enough that I'm gonna say that it's hot. So yeah, there are cars here over there and a few here. That taverna is unfortunately closed. I figured they would be. I mentioned I would show you my room. This is the hotel room that I've moved into. Uh, it's pretty nice considering uh, the price and it's kind of basic, but it has everything you need, a small kitchen and has a little outdoor balcony and a TV, a table, and I'll show you the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. It's actually a really good sized bathroom. Uh, so I can't complain about that too much. The only thing they haven't updated are the doors to the rooms and they're pretty thin. So uh, you can hear people coming in and out. That's kind of annoying. I sleep with earplugs in when I come to these hotels, so it's not such a big deal for me. Um, but like I said, they are open year round, so that's a nice thing. Here is the balcony. And because I'm facing the back, it's really quiet and it's fine because the front faces just another building. So it would be the same in the front. So it's nice. It is now Saturday, November 5th. And I've noticed more things have closed this week. I'm not sure exactly what day because I didn't walk down this far. And the wind is picking back up. And so this might be the last really warm day here. Later on, I'm gonna go take a stroll on the beach and see who's down there. But this kind of gives you an idea 
of what's still open. There are still places to eat, just not as many. The other thing that becomes much less in the off season is the public bus. And this is the case on every island that I've been to. It's pretty limited at this time of year. In fact, yesterday I walked from the beach near town to Agios Pocobios. So if I had wanted to take the bus, I'm not even sure if it was possible. Let's see. No. I am down on the beach now. And it seems there are very few people here today. They're, the people you see down there are local families with their kids. They're not really swimming. They're just here to kind of let their kids have some steam off. And I see a few people in the water. It's not that cold, but the wind is stronger today than it was yesterday. So it's chilly when you get out of the water. So there are not as many people. Some people had asked me to talk about the Wi-Fi situation on a Greek island, and so it kind of depends. Uh, days when it's really windy and stormy, the internet can be really bad. Uh, sometimes there are planned power outages on islands, sometimes they're not planned, particularly in the busy season. Um, so you tend to lose internet, and if it's busy and crowded, then the internet gets overloaded by overuse so if you are a digital nomad and wanting to come and work uh, it can be tricky in the summer but like right now the internet is great there are very few people on island the hotel that i am has upgraded their internet and so it's it's really great i've not had any issues however the place i was staying in before it didn't get good cell service i almost got no cell service in the apartment so and then the hotel that it is above it, that it used to be a part of, it's now not a hotel, um, they share their internet with them and it's terrible. Most of the cafes have internet, so if you are really desperate, you can always go to a cafe to work. However, it's still not gonna be the best internet. So my advice to you is if you're coming here and you need really good internet, then you email the hotel or the Airbnb or whatever and ask them for a speed test with screenshots. And if they don't know how to do it, don't stay there because they probably don't really know what they're doing and they've gotten just the most basic Wi-Fi they possibly could. The one thing that doesn't really matter or change in the off season is that the sunsets are still amazing. Kalimera, it is Sunday, November 6th. And as you can see behind me, the weather has changed drastically from yesterday when it was nice and sunny and now it's sunny that direction, but it is cloudy and they've been saying that we were going to have a storm. So I left my apartment a little bit early because I need to catch the 9.30 ferry and I really didn't want to be caught in the rain. I do have an umbrella, but I have all my gear with me. Uh, so I didn't really want to take the chance that everything would get wet, even though I'm prepared for that. But that's something that you need to keep in mind if you're coming in the off season. The weather can change. Um, now, fortunately, the wind isn't very high, so the ferry isn't canceled. Right as I got on the ferry, it started to rain. So good timing for me, and it's really coming down. So I'm glad I didn't wait to get on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you need more information about visiting in the off season, I have a video coming up on the screen now that will answer some of your questions. See you in the next video.